Hey, what you doing? What? What am I doing? I just added 1000 LinkedIn connections to my network, my friend. Is that worth it? Of course it's worth it. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Remember that in this channel, we talk about chemical and process engineering for both the students and professionals. So if you want to get all my latest videos, don't forget to click on the notification bells to get always notified when I get the latest one. Now guys, I'm pretty sure that you are quite familiar with these type of persons that are just like sending invites via LinkedIn, thinking it's going to be eventually worth it, or maybe that they are handing out resumes to any single company they see. If they see a stand of a certain company, they will go and hand out two, three, four CVs. And of course, we know that person that has a lot of printed business cards and it's handing them out to anyone that meets in any single party or maybe in any single event. I know that they think they are being kind of productive, but in reality, that's not the actual way to make some connections. And this is totally normal, guys. Networking is one of the things that should be taught at school. And of course, it is not. One of the things that makes the gap between academia and industry even bigger. But this is not the topic, of course. What we're going to be talking about is how can you improve your networking skills as a student? And why on student? Of course, because I will be launching a video on once you're already graduated and you're a professional, but when you are a student, you have two main advantages. Number one, it's going to be crucial for your next jobs and your whole life. All the connections that you make right now will be, of course, important in the near future. Maybe you're going to be landing jobs already because of your connections, or maybe you're going to be landing certain type of interviews, or at least get to know other companies or so. And number two, I really think that when you're a student, it's the easiest way to make connections. It's the easiest way to grow your network. Why? A quick example. If a student goes to a professor or goes to an engineer, they will be pretty open to start chat with you and get connected and all that. But if you're a recent graduate and well, you go to another engineer, they may not feel the same attitude because you are no longer a student. So we need to take advantage of that. Okay, but first things first, what do I mean with networking? So actually I have a formal definition for you guys and of course a more real definition. So the formal definition goes as follows. The action or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional or social contacts. Okay, that's great if you are a Terminator or maybe Robocop, but we are humans, guys. Don't think never like that when you're interacting with someone. It really shows when people go to networking events and literally you just see the people wanting to interact just for the sake of interaction or for the sake of getting something of value out of you. That's not how it works. This is my real definition on networking. The subtle art of interacting with key people that will make your life awesome in many senses, typically and hopefully in a mutual beneficial relationship. So way different, right? And the first one is about interacting and exchanging stuff, almost like merchants. And then the second one is much more like an art, more like a human stuff. And you do this because you want to improve both. You want to give value and at the same time receive certain value on return. So first things first will be start seeing networking like that. How can you help other people and how can they help you? This is the first rule of networking. If you're just willing to take, well, good luck with that. Your mission of networking is gonna be kind of hard. Now for this, I prepare a very straightforward list so you can get an idea on how can you improve. And not only the idea, but also examples. The easiest way for me to start networking is to create actual friends. Yes, to get to know some of your classmates, some of your teammates, maybe some people in your study group, or simply people that you find out in the library maybe, or in your classroom. Yes, I know when you're a student, you think that interacting with other students is kind of awkward, but forget that guys. So when you get older, you will see that it is the easiest way in life to know someone. Later, you will see that it's quite hard to start relationships. If I go to a Starbucks or to a library, it will be kind of awkward if I actually go and introduce myself and start doing some networking. But for now, if you're in university, you could just say, hey, what's up, what you're doing, or what is your class about, or how can I help you on that topic, or whatever thing, and you will start a good relationship. 
The second point is actually for those persons that are having with the first point. I know that maybe the first point is very extrovert. Believe me, guys, it is the easiest way to do it, but I still remember myself being there as a student. It's kind of hard to get to know random people. The other way to do it without so this social awkwardness is to join groups. This can be a variation of groups. It may be maybe some sports, hiking, swimming, maybe tennis, football. Typically, team games is a great way to go. Maybe join hobbies group, for instance, uh, reading groups, maybe trick with cards. Maybe if you're into Harry Potter, you can do that as well. Or if you're into science or maybe sky watching or maybe bird hunting, whatever group that you're interested, definitely go for it. And finally, try to join something on communication, on leadership. If there is a Toastmaster group, for, go for it. If there is something on public speaking, go for that. It really helps a lot because people there want to communicate, want to make networks. So it's quite easy to make connections in those groups. I want to share this little story. When I was a student back in the day, I really remember that I wanted to learn how to cook. So I joined the barbecue lessons on Saturday. And I know Saturday may sound not so appealing, especially because it was kind of at 10 or 11 a.m., which is early for many of you guys. But I really wanted to learn about barbecue and how to manage the coal and all these things. And the story is actually not about me, although I really met a lot of people, about 10 to 12 new persons, which I really get along maybe with two or three. The story is about the instructor. So the instructor was there not for the purpose of teaching. He was there for the purpose of connecting with the students. He knew that a lot of the parents of the students are actually in the business of cooking, restaurants, food delivery services, or maybe even catering services. And actually he landed like two or three jobs in that class. I was kind of amazed on how he just went there for teaching and at the same time he was closing deals while he was barbecuing. So this is a way on how interaction or networking can happen. This point is kind of similar than the previous one, but this will require you a little bit more of responsibility. And if you know about people that are organizing a conference, or if you know that there is a Aiki group, or if there is anything that is being organized, something that requires an ability of people management, teamwork, and much more, definitely join that. Why? Because you will be not only interacting, networking, but also learning more on communication, teamwork, and leadership. Another way to interact or network as a student is whenever you attend a conference or a talk or any webinar, ensure to ask great questions. The presenter will for sure remember you and when the conference is over, you can go and ask him about any topic and of course have a small chat and eventually get his or her card. Of course then send some email and all that, but ensure to keep that relationship, especially when you are going to get graduated. You don't know if a simple email to that person will land you a job or at least an interview. This is a classic one and maybe one of the most underrated ones and it is getting along with your professors. I know that there is a lot of people that have a small relationship with uh, professors. There's a lot of people that will not even treat them as humans, but there is a small minority that actually have a relationship. They build a normal human to human relationship and they get acquaintance. They get even sometimes friendly and so on. This is great because if someone asks to that professor, maybe a graduate that requires an intern, or maybe a graduate that requires a job position, or maybe whatever opportunity that may arise, they will think first on you, which is always what you want. LinkedIn is actually one of the tools that I will have to say that yes, you can use LinkedIn as a student. And I know that you think that you know nothing. You know I know nothing. It sounds like kind of rhymes there. But essentially what I want to show you is that you can actually start using LinkedIn. Get connected with those persons that you find interesting. First thing first, you start following people. And eventually you can just reshare the material. People is going to see that you are actually active in LinkedIn and maybe eventually start writing some posts. As a student, you don't need to feel confident. You're just there exploring your creativity, learning about processes. And the more you get interaction, you will see that there's more people going to check out your content. And eventually what you are going to be building is a digital network, which of course is not as strong as a real network, but it's going to help you in the future. Not only that, you can also start messaging with those persons. Try to aim for those middle, let's say LinkedIn influencers that may be posting about certain topics. If you're into nanotubes, well, go and check out the industry, check out which persons are posting on that and start liking, posting, questioning, and eventually send some direct messages. 
You can do the same for certain company. If you want to be in a certain company for sure, you can ask the recruiter, hey, I'm interested in this type of application. How can I get better in the application process? What can I do to improve my chances? Blah, blah, blah. And more importantly, this is something that you can already be doing right now. Actually, I'm thinking on creating a course for that because I really think that LinkedIn is underrated and at the same time overrated, uh, depending on how you use it. But for sure, guys, there's a lot of things that you can do directly on LinkedIn. This is my favorite one and go to parties. Yes, as simple as that, go to parties. If you're not a party guy or a party girl, ensure to go just for the sake of meeting people. I know that it may be awkward, but eventually what happens in this type of events is it's awkward in the first 15 to 20 minutes, but after the 30 minutes or one hour, everyone is friendly, everyone is talking, especially if alcohol is involved, everyone is more socially, let's say, lubricated, so everyone is happy, everyone is sharing jokes, and this way you can meet a lot of people. And finally, my best tip and recommendation to grow your network is not only ensure to make that first contact or to make that interaction or having those friends from college or so, but actually try to follow along. Keep tabs of them. Ensure to give them a call or if you're in WhatsApp, send them a message. Or if you're in LinkedIn or on Instagram, send them a direct message or maybe an email. Independent of which type of communication tool you use, ensure to have this connection. So it will not be that awkward when you get in contact when you really need them. For instance, if you're looking for a job or if you're looking for a certain product or if you want to learn more about certain industry or process, it will be way easier to say, hey, how are you doing? Uh, blah 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 as usual and then suddenly change the topic to the actual question this is something i do a lot i have a lot of beautiful friends out there and i keep tabs with them say hi how are you eventually the important thing is to keep going along with the relationship not only as the interaction as i told you that you have to offer a i have to offer b let's exchange interactions now this is bullshit man you need to be human related and guys those are the tips that i wanted to share with you I would really appreciate it if someone would have told me that back in my days. And I know especially uh, I was a very awkward or let's say introvert person back in college. So it will really help me a lot to see that there's a lot of way of networking without actually having to be an extrovert and having to make the first step or making the first interaction. I know still that many of you have nervousness and social anxiety, which is perfectly normal. Try to work on that for sure. But there are many ways that don't require you that much of an effort. For instance, the groups, for instance, going to sports, for instance, the LinkedIn tip or idea I show you before. So what do you think, guys? Especially if you are already graduated or maybe you're an engineer, maybe you're already five years into the industry or 10, let the students know what is the best way to network. What are those things that maybe you didn't know back in the day that now you see so clear? So for me, the one of interacting with people in college or university is like the easiest one, going to groups or applying maybe for certain type of sports. That's also an easy one. But there are many ways in which you can get to know a lot of people in university. So please let us know in the comment section, guys, if you have other ideas for networking or for interaction. I'm pretty sure that the young students will appreciate your tips. On my behalf, that will be it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.